Four years ago, progressive activists stood on my front lawn with the stated goal of intimidating my family. They wanted me to defund the police. I said no. <laughs> Folks, I grew up in high crime neighborhoods. What we wanted was more and better policing, not less. As mayor, I knew we needed to increase support for our police department and prioritize violent crime reduction. I'd been a Democrat my entire life, albeit a conservative one. But when those activists tried to scare my kids, my fellow Democrats were silent. It was Republicans who offered their support both privately and publicly. Party affiliation didn't matter. They cared about doing what was right. Today, Republican mayor of Dallas, Texas, the largest, the largest city in the United States led by a Republican. I wanted to say I didn't leave the Democrat Party because they left me first, but the truth is, on matters of public safety, the Democrats were never actually there for me, for Dallas families, or for the American people. With their words and their actions, and sometimes with their silence and their inaction, Democrats in power demonstrate they don't care about stopping the killers or the thieves who terrorize black and brown communities. They don't care about securing our border. And they don't care about dangerous homeless encampments. No, the heart of today's woke Democrat Party is with the criminals, not with their victims. Democrats are good at using safe words, but terrible at building safe neighborhoods and safe cities. But there is a better way. Dallas bucked national trends and achieved a remarkable three straight years of violent crime reduction. Today, Dallas is viewed as America's safest large city, and Republicans lead 11 of the top 15 safest cities. And that's because Republicans won't be silent about public safety. Folks, Let's make our city safe again by supporting Republicans who will stand up and fight for our safety. That's my focus as chairman of the Republican Mayors Association. And you know what else? Together, let's make America safe again by retiring Joe Biden and electing Donald J. Trump. Thank you.